Welcome back to Drive Genius, and in this video, we're going to take a look at Kyle Pitts, tight end out of Florida. On Florida's website, Kyle Pitts is listed at six foot six and weighing 240 pounds. Now, me just looking at him on the field, it would be hard for me to believe that he was 240 pounds, or at least it would be hard for me to believe that he was playing at 240 pounds. Now, obviously, I don't know that for a fact. I'm just talking about how he looks on the field. And looking at Kyle Pitts, he looks more like a, a receiver as opposed to a traditional tight end that you would envision when you think about tight end. So uh, really slight build. He's very long, very athletic, slender build, but uh, 6'6", 240, he's, he's every bit of 6'6". Six six. I'm not sure if he was playing at 240 pounds. I would say probably 225 to 230, but we'll see if he's bulked up. Uh, since the end of the season and maybe uh, he can grow into 240 pounds because he definitely has that body type to do so past couple years sophomore and junior year um it's when kyle pitts really put himself on the map uh sophomore year he played a little bit as a freshman didn't do much as far as uh, statistics but uh, really came on the scene as a sophomore 54 catches 649 yards and five tds really put himself out there got his name out there on the map uh, and he became a guy that a lot of people uh, had their eye on going into the season and this season his junior season he really went out there and did his thing and he didn't disappoint he finished the season now obviously the season was shortened and all of that stuff but uh Went out there, had 43 catches for 770 yards, uh, had 12 touchdowns to go with that. And his yards per catch uh, numbers were ridiculous. He averaged 18 yards per catch this past season. So that's really explosive, especially for a tight end. So you'd like to see those numbers out of him. He really went out there and did his thing. And every time I turned on the game and saw Kyle Pitts out there, he was, he was, he was dominating. So... So he's no slouch. He was able to go out there and be productive uh, over the past two seasons for Florida. As far as his accomplishments, he was a John Mackey Award winner. Obviously, the award for the best tight end in the nation, he won that this past season. He also was a unanimous All-American this past season. And he's a two-time first-team All-SEC performer. So, you know, only a couple years of work for Kyle Pitts, uh, two 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 seasons of, of serious production but you know in those two seasons he was able to go out there and do some good things so let's move on to the film and and break down the types of things that Kyle Pitts can do out there to start you know I've heard this a lot from a lot of people in the media a lot of people that talk about the NFL draft and you know a lot of people have been talking about how Kyle Pitts should come into the draft as a receiver and that he's better than this receiver or that receiver and I think we should stop with talk like that. I love Kyle Pitts. He's a, he's a great, great player. He does some really good things out there, but he's a tight end for a reason. And I think if you watch the film, you can really understand what separates him from being a receiver and from being what he is, which is a tight end. And I mean, personally, if you ask me, I just don't think he has the nuance um, and the natural skill set of a receiver. Not saying he doesn't show it at times. I just don't think he's I just don't think he shows it consistently enough to be like, hey, he's a he's a number one receiver. He should he should go ahead of other receivers in this draft. And I, I don't think that's that's the case at all. He still moves like a tight end out there. And if you watch him close enough, you can you can really tell why he's playing tight end and hadn't been moved the receiver because you know with a, a guy as talented as that if if he could do it I'm, I'm pretty sure he would be but um he's a tight end for a reason and and i think there's a lot of receivers that uh are really good in this draft and i, I wouldn't disrespect those guys like that by suggesting that you know kyle pitts even though he's really good i, w I wouldn't suggest that he he's better than than any of those guys but um as far as what he can do, he, he's got very good hands, really good catch radius, and he makes some great catches on film, man. And, that, and that's one of the, the things that really stands out when you first turn on the film. It really, He really pops off the screen. He catches passes from a ton of different angles. He has excellent body control for a tight end. And that's also something that really stood out to me. For a guy that's six foot six, 
like I said, he's listed at 240, but realistically, he's at least 230, 235 pounds, something like that, somewhere in that range. But for him to go out there and have the type of body control, to be able to go out there and maneuver like he does, and to make some of those acrobatic catches that he does, um, is really impressive to see. You hear this a lot with tight ends um, and how uh, a lot of those guys use their body to box out guys. They're always uh, usually former basketball players, things like that. And, um, you know, they, they use their body bodies well and they're able to make plays on the ball. Even though they may not necessarily have elite skills, they know how to position themselves and, and get to the ball. And I think Kyle Pitts does a, a, an excellent job of that. He shields guys away. Um, especially when he's out there against corners. He's just too big for those guys to handle. And we see that in the NFL all the time. Guys like Gronkowski, guys like Travis Kelsey, they're masters of uh, using their bodies and, and using the advantages that they have, just being naturally bigger bigger players, being naturally bigger people. They, they use that to their advantage really well. I think Kyle Pitts does the same thing. He tracks the ball extremely well and – you know, in those competitive catch situations, those 50-50 ball situations, he's going to come down with it more often than not. Uh, he, he he constantly wins in, in those situations, and I think that might be his best trait, um, especially when we talk about using him as a receiver, you know, getting those mismatches, putting him out there against a 5'10 corner when we're down in the low red zone and throwing a fade ball to him in the back of the end zone. Those are the types of of things that Kyle Pitts can do for you. Um, as far as uh, speed, I think he has good straight line speed. Not as good, you know, change of direction, things like that. But for what he's going to be asked to do, I think he has more than enough speed. He's not going to have any problems beating linebackers over the middle, beating uh, linebackers on seam, up the seams, working the middle of the field. I think he can do a, a good job and he's athletic enough to, to be able to get open against over any overhang player, whether it be uh, outside linebacker safety that's coming down in the box and I think he does have a good enough skill set to get open against less athletic nickels and, and dimes out there that are covering him and if he doesn't he's physical enough and bigger than those guys uh, so that he can find a way to, to get open based on that like I mentioned before um, he's not slow at all by any means but uh, sometimes on film he does look a bit deliberate and that's what I talk about uh, when comparing him to receivers I don't think he always shows that receiver skill set even though he does have those skills and they come out he doesn't show it on a consistent basis and this is part of the reason I said that um, he looks deliberate at times not doesn't look like he's running full speed you know that's not a knock on him or anything that's just what happens I mean if he finds ways to get open then it's not going to matter at the end of the day but that's just something that stood out to me that I noticed but you know when he opens it up and he really gets going downfield and he uh, gets ahead of steam man he can really run and really control the middle of the field and he did that a lot for Florida this past season as far as Kyle Pitts as a blocker um, I think in pass pro, I think he has enough lateral movement and he's athletic enough to stay in front of guys. So that shouldn't be an issue when we're looking at it from that angle. But I personally don't think he's strong enough to be able to handle edge rushers, defensive ends out there on a consistent basis, especially one on one. You don't want to have him in that position. To be honest, you don't want to have any tight end in that position. But I think Kyle Pitts being a, a more slender guy. Uh, has more of a receiver type of build and you know just not appearing to be very strong he, he's not a guy he's not a mauler out there he's not an overly physical um just bully in the run game as a tight end and, and that's okay if, if that's not his game that's not his game i doubt if he'll be used or relied on as that type of guy but just something to point out you know you probably you probably wouldn't want him at the point of attack you probably wouldn't want to be running behind him because I don't think he I don't think he gets good enough movement on a consistent basis. Not saying he can't, not saying he doesn't have instances where he does. I'm just saying on a consistent basis, out there on the edge against defensive ends and, and guys that are frankly bigger and stronger than him. I don't see him getting that consistent movement. So that's why I think he's lacking a bit as a run blocker. But like I said before, that's not his game. 
um, he was probably split. You know, how much time did he realistically have to work on run blocking, to go down there and work uh, combination blocks with the tackles? How much time did he have to, to practice uh, swipe blocks? How much time did he have uh, getting in there at fullback, you know, if they needed him? I highly doubt if he was doing those things on a consistent basis just based on how Florida used him in their pass game. He probably spent a lot more time with the quarterbacks and receivers than he did with the O-line and the backs. So overall, I think Kyle Pitts is a tremendous tight end. He's a tremendous prospect. Uh, he has a skill set at that position that could cause problems for opposing defenses for the reasons I mentioned before. He has good straight line speed. He can beat linebackers. He catches the ball very well in contested catch situations, and he's physical enough to go out there and handle himself against anybody. So if you're a team that, that's looking for that type of tight end, that type of guy that can create mismatches and make plays consistently in the pass game, then Kyle Pitts is definitely the guy you're going to be looking for. But if you're a team that has, but if your identity as a team is based around your run game and you really want to get physical, you really want to be a smash mouth type of football team, um, then I don't know if Kyle Pitts is your guy. And I don't know if teams are going to go crazy to get him if those are the types of teams uh, that are looking for tight ends. Uh, I don't know if Kyle Pitts is going to be the guy for them. Like I mentioned before, I think he struggles a bit at the point of attack. I think he might have a little bit of a more difficult time handling defensive ends in the NFL. And I also don't think he provides that much versatility in the run game. Uh, and what I mean by that is being able to do multiple things out there like a George Kittle does. A guy that can line up in the backfield and be a fullback and give you a lead block. A guy that can run some counter, can, that can get out there and pull on a counter play and, and lead up and get on a linebacker. Uh, that can insert, you know, outside coming back in, inserting and, and leading through for a linebacker. I don't, think it, I don't think Kyle Pitts is that type of guy. But I think he does some things that a lot of guys just can't do. And I think if a team drafts him and puts him in the right position, then he can be a really, really dynamic playmaker at the next level.